Greetings, cats and kittens. Welcome to Libby's Lullabies. I'm Miss Libby, and today I am going to be reading Beyond Your Coming by Christopher Elipolios. I really hope I said his last name correctly. So sit back or lay down. Either way, I want you guys to relax and enjoy the story. We were going to have so much fun. My best friend Noodles was at my house for a sleepover, but we weren't going to sleep. We were planning to stay up all night long. We made a list of all the fun things we would do. We played hide and seek and board games and soccer. We jumped on the trampoline and when it got dark, we collected fireflies. Oh no, what, I asked. The yawns are coming! The yawns? The yawns, run! There were hundreds of them. We ran and we climbed and we sneaked and we hid, but it was no use. The yawns caught us. We couldn't resist them. I would yawn. And then noodles would, noodles would yawn. And I would yawn again. The noodles would yawn again. But I wasn't having it. No, we are supposed to stay up all night long. Noodles only responded with, <laughs> then out of nowhere, splap, a doze landed on Noodles head. I tried to keep Noodles awake. We still had lots of items on our list of fun things to do, but it was too late. The snores had arrived and we were dancing around Noodle's head. <laughs> My eyes were getting heavy. They were just about to close when the sleepy covered me up. It was warm and safe. Before I knew it, it was morning. Noodles, who was awake and smiling, had made a new list. We were going to have so much fun. How many of you have vowed you were going to stay up all night long at a sleepover? I know I have. I never made it. Never made it. I hope you guys enjoyed the yawns are coming. Sleep sweet. And I will see you next time on Libby's Lullaby.